This is a cactus that's had a hot nail shoved in its head. Oh. And so what it does is it kills the growing point or meristem, mm -hmm. which stops the hormone being released to kills the auxiliary buds and allows the secondary heads to, to grow. And so it forms a clump. You could do the same thing. That's a golden barrel, right? Yes. Forward. Hold the plant, hold it one, one hand and hold do it, it. and then Take straight up and down, right in the center. Oh, right in the More? center, go down, go down. More, yep. Okay, you smell it? Uh huh. Can I lean it towards me a little bit? Yeah, because you got it on that side a little bit, and out this way a little bit over here. This angle, right here, here it's sizzling. Yes, so that's cauterizing this will the kill, wound. Kill it? It's killing the growing point. Okay. Okay. But what that growing point is doing is, is emitting a hormone that stops auxiliary growing points at every one of these points from growing. This is called an aerial. Out yes. of this aerial, you can grow spines, you can grow fruits, you can grow flowers, you can grow roots, or you can grow a whole nother head. Everything is in there. All you have to do is stop the hormone that's going out and stopping it from growing, from going out. And by killing that meristem, you've stopped that hormone from being released. And so now you've opened up every oh. one of these buds to be able to jump out and grow into a cluster. I see. And so you can do the same thing by cutting the head off of the plant because you've removed the mirror stem or the growing point. Now you right. can pull it out. This is a close up of the little golden barrel after we hot nailed it. So as you can see the burn marks at the top. All right, so after hot nailing, this is what we expect to happen for it to grow more pops around it. <laughs> okay, tell me why you did that, Rob. Why did I hot nail the plant? To kill the meristem, right? Yes. And what happens when you kill the meristem? It produces more pops because out of the, the aerials. Because the hormone isn't going out. So this is going to come out of the leaf axles. Now it's going to offset off of there because the mirror stem is killed. Same principle as this, only difference is by slicing the plant in half, I've gotten to the middle, killed the mirror stem right in the middle. I plant a half in each pot and I can show you what happens when you do this. So you just cut it right in the middle, right slice in the middle. it in the middle. Exactly in the middle. All right. So plants like blue glow, snow glow, sun glow, that don't offset, now they do when you cut them in half and you force them to offset. That's a half a plant. Oh, yeah. So how long does it take till the offsets start coming out? Well, it depends on the time of year. So it's if you do it early spring, by the first couple of months, you should see results of everything happening. And if you take an wow. example like this and you start taking this pup off and you take this pup off, uh -huh. this will set up a whole nother set of pups on it. And if you can keep these growing where these major adult leaves stay growing, I've gotten three sets of offsets off of each half of a plant. Wow. And then the other thing is you can isolate variegation. So see this plant here? Uh-huh. How it's half this way and half that oh, way? Oh, yeah, yeah. If you cut it right on that line. Uh-huh. This half will produce plants all that look like this, and this plant half will produce all the plants that look like that. So, 
the other half would be like that type of variegation yes. and then the other one would be which like actually would die yellow. because it's all yellow but it was oh. actually if you have a plant that is normal and then variegated on one side right. and you cut right down that dividing line uh -huh. it will all produce half variegated way. and have normal only no the normal half will produce normal plants and the variegated half will produce variegate variegated plants. yes yeah. just like this here's a good example of a plant right there so what do you call that process of uh i call it bisecting it? bisecting here's another good educational plant about that kind of stuff this is a opuntia ficus indica and it's a variegated form called sunburst but you'll notice that this is non-variegated and the aerial that this leaf came out of uh -huh. is non-variegated. So the leaf is non-variegated. Yes. So this aerial came out of a variegated section. So the leaf is all variegated. This aerial was right on the middle of the variegated and non-variegated section. And you can see that the leaf now is split just because of that. Oh, that's so cool. So what do you learn by that? If you cut an aerial off of this side of the plant or your production of the plant, it will get nothing but variegated leaves off of that side. Off of this side, you'll get nothing but normal leaves because it's non-variegated. Wow. So if you're growing cactus, uh -huh. and a cactus is variegated like this, and it grows fruits, yes, you're looking for a fruit that comes off of the variegated side of the plant more than you're looking for a fruit that would come off of the non-variegated side So if of the I plant. plant the seeds of that fruit that came out of the variegated side. You can get both plants but you're more likely to get variegated plants versus if you plant the fruit the seeds that come out of the side of non-variegated uh -huh. your odds are less likely wow. Simple. one side is variegated and the other side is not not variegated it's just That's simple so cool. stuff like that that you just by playing and learning and watching your plants over time uh -huh. they show you the stuff oh. anybody welcome to come over and visit what i have and see what i have to teach by just contacting me on Instagram or Facebook or leaving a message on my phone I'll contact you back and we'll set up an appointment and in, on Instagram that's Rob Roy Rob Roy's plants Plant. and the same on Facebook All right. and that has my address and phone number but it's by appointment only with a 24-hour notice alright thank you so much Rob thank you Anna